Hi, this is Tim Kant for Loop Masters, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can make a custom shaker loop like this with Loop Cloud. So, I've got a scenario for you here. I, Timmy, have got a bit of a techie, housey loop going on with kicks, hats, and claps, and I want to step things up with a bit of driving percussion. So, we add the Loop Cloud instrument in our door, open up the Loop Cloud application, and look for a shaker sound. I'll start by selecting hats and shakers, shaker one in the pattern menu, then search the store for one shot shakers. Now I can audition a bunch of different shaker sounds and hear how they work with my track before buying them and make the most of my Loop Cloud credit. It's also worth noting that you can use all of Loop Cloud's features with your existing library, so you can use this technique with the sounds you have already. So I'm auditioning new sounds, but this shaker one loop isn't working for me in this context, so I'll try some other patterns. Let's go with shaker five. But let's tweak it a bit. With Loop Cloud, you can add, remove, truncate, and control the volume of audio regions, and the changes you make to the pattern are independent of the sample. Okay, I've got a sample that's working for me. Now I just hit the Buy File button, and I'm given the option to drag the original or process version of the file into my door. Dragging original will give me the unprocessed one-shot sound, but I'm happy with this loop, so I'll drag the processed version in. There we go, we've made our shaker pattern and put it into our door as an audio file. Now, in our scenario, Timmy likes what's going on with his new shaker loop, but he's thinking, I should be a good boy and try a bit of swing quantization. I'll show you how to do that in live right now. If you're on another door, the way you quantize audio will differ slightly, but the principle will be the same. So in live, we click the warp button on the audio clip, click the loop button to loop the clip, and drag the clip out. We'll set the audio clip grid to medium and select quantize, and now I can add a groove from the library, or extract one from the beat I had already. Depending on the audio material, you might find you get better results by setting the audio clip's transient loop mode to off, so that it plays the slices of audio as one-shots with no looping. You can also turn down the transient envelope parameter and get a gating effect, which tightens up the loop. So there you go, hot new sounds while being efficient with your Loop Cloud credits, which for all we know could become the de facto currency after the apocalypse. So look after them for goodness sake. 